Under the cool key cars review. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another cool key selection review with your host, Guillermo Del Toro, specially guesting this episode. And we bring to you live. Hello, everyone, I am Guillermo Del Toro, and today, Cool Kicks has invited me to give you a special introduction to the review of the Pale Man from Labyrinth. Pale Man. <laughs> I've got your tongue, don't I? <laughs> Sorry, Guillermo, but this is a scientific explanation of me. A review of me. I want it done by cool kicks. <laughs> Sorry, Guillermo, we didn't pay enough to have you talk the rest of it. <laughs> Alrighty, cool kicks back again. Brought to you by the good old Guillermo de Toro. Thank you for very much for the introduction. But unfortunately, the pale man from Pan's Labyrinth got a hold of his tongue. We're not sure what he did with it, but unfortunately, Yermo will be unavailable. He'll be sitting down taking a rest. Ooh, don't worry about it, Yermo. I'll take care of the rest of it. Here we go. As you can see, the pale man from the labyrinth, Pian's labyrinth, can lay his hands all to the left and to the right, but right down from there. We're going to go up. We're going to go side to side from the twisty action that he has on his ball joints in the middle of his torso. That's right. I'm doing the boogie woogie. <laughs> and then we're going to move his arms all the way back because he can twist all the way like he's doing a matrix-like motion to the kick action. And then he's going to get rid of his display, but we'll bring it right back up again because it's good for fire writing and he can see better colors. He's got a red rosy tint with a blanco or white as we were calling it in our previous review. And then he can move his arms all the way to the back because he's going to go to jail, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my goodness. He is headed to the clink. His elbows are easily articulated to bend at various points, not only at the top here, as you can see, but at the bottom as well, and the elbow joint can back and forth. Be careful, you don't want to break it. And his eyes, of course, are very detailed, but I can see you. And again, moving into his head, right there in the head, he's got these incredible teeth. I can see them, and he can see you, and he wants to eat. Oh, man, he'll take a bite out of you. His nose is very detailed. His gills, just like the creature that comes out in the form of water. It's coming to me here on the Toro's other movie. Then he doesn't want you to come in. I thought you couldn't talk, dude. I'll get you for that. Okay, on this count, he can go still back to back, side to side. He can put his little hand on his happy little hip and do the, do the, do 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 Yes, he can dance. Looking at his legs, he can bend them very, very high, and almost as if he's going to do a crisscross applesauce pose and float up in the air and meditate for you. And then after doing that, he can also do the kick stance. Again, going back, we're going to move his legs back all the way. There you go for that beautiful articulated kicking action. He looks almost like a skeleton, something out of Halloween, but we'll keep on going. Look at that, touch the back of his back. <laughs> and we can go all the way to his stomach. His poor little stomach is worn and torn like he hasn't eaten. He's very skinny. Flaco in Spanish, as they said. He's lots of bone action. You can tell that his spine is weathered and torn like an old pale man. He looks like he doesn't have any muscle at all whatsoever. The bottom of his feet are nice and wrinkly as well. When you look at the nails and the twisties that you can do, it's still a little bit of twisty action. You can, again, the joints aren't just a bendy. You can twist the left and right on both ends of this NECA toy. Thank you, NECA, for making it so easy for him to just maybe sit down and look at you. Okay, that's enough, those guys. And you can come back around. And looky, looky, what else can we do with his elbows? We can hear you bend and twist and yawn and stretch. Look at those joints. They are quite incredible, ladies and gentlemen. And I really, really do enjoy the posability functions that this pale man from Hans Labyrinth can do. Just imagine what we can do with the rest of the set. And this throne that he does have come with his accompanying throne that Guillermo del Toro is over there sitting on. Hello, Guillermo. Hope, hope the cat just still doesn't have your tongue. <laughs> Sorry, Guillermo. We're going to go back to the Pan's Labyrinth. Pale man. I will eat you. You just don't know it. Spooky, spooky. <laughs> Again, ladies and gentlemen, that neck can pivot on there with the gears and they can look at you very straight and straightforward and say he is the most 
ominous looking sight anyone has seen. Look at the detail in the eyes that Nika has painted for us. If we focus in there good tight, that is a wonderful eye. Hey, see you. That's right. And we'll look at both of them all at once so he can see you. He can kind of restless here, folks. I see you better now. We've had some technical difficulties. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by. He's gotten away. Oh boy. The cameraman is okay. We don't think we're going to last much longer, folks. But I want to thank you for coming to this review before he takes us. Oh, no. No. Another cookie, guys. Review. Comment, like, subscribe, everybody. I've taken over.